Why are you following us? Who are you? What are you doing? I do What's happening to us? What makes you think I know anything? You warned us. At the memorial service, you said death didn't like to be cheated. It's just that I've seen this before. You changed things on that bridge. It's a wrinkle in reality. And that wrinkle is you. Are you saying that we can't stop this? You're not supposed to be here. You shorted death. So you let death have somebody else in your place, and then you take their spot in the realm of the living, all the days and years that they've yet to live. And they take your place in death. Then the books are balanced. First, I want to thank you guys for the interview. Oh, man, now, thank you, You man. two, I understand you two got a lot of chemistry in this film. Can you guys tell me a little bit about your roles? Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. We have so they finish each other's sentences. It's great. It's too cute. You know, it is. I gotta say, man, we've said this a bunch, but it's true. You know, we had just a blast we working did. with each other, and it was great because she and I had to carry a lot of different scenes that a part of the other on that the ensemble wasn't in. You know, that there was a few scenes inside the apartment together, inside mm -hmm. the restaurants and things, and. Those are scenes where we had to be really kind of emotional and, and, and have to show the love between each other. And so, you know, you asked about characters. I, I play Sam Lawton, a uh, kid who sees the premonition. And, um, I play and, Molly Harper, yeah. the girlfriend of. Yeah. yeah. And she's just, and you know, she's a stabilizing force for my character, and she was a stabilizing force for me as an actor. You know, we were there all day long, like, keeping it fresh for each other and having fun. And, yeah. And that, you just, it's a priceless, it's absolutely priceless in a film where you're shooting for three months where you know going to work every day is going to be fun. Oh, that's exactly. Yeah. exactly. It's so, true, though, and I feel the same exact way for him. I have to make this very loving, but... Yeah, no. <laughs> Thank you for lying right there. I appreciate that. Names, I was names. telling the truth, but she was lying. <laughs> now, what was it like when you guys first got the call? Like, I mean, this is the fifth one. You're going in. I got the call. I got the job. Well, I mean, what was that experience like? Thrilling for me. I mean, and also sort thrilling. of um, a whirlwind because I I went in a very I got cast very late in the process. So I went in on like a Tuesday, and then two days later I went into the execs at New Line for a meeting, and then literally like the next day I had to get on a plane for three months wow. and wow. move. You know, so it was um, when it actually when I got the call after having the the meeting with New Line, I just sort of. I just couldn't really believe it was happening, you know, because it seemed it seemed like it was too good to be true. Because normally you hear about like callbacks and three, four, five callbacks, and so um, so yeah, I just I went up and it, and it was it was amazing to be a part of this experience and and then to meet everybody and, and get to love everyone and and love the material and it was wonderful. Yeah, it was it was it was a great cast, you know. I mean, my my uh, casting process was was pretty streamlined too. It was relatively quick, and it was a thrill, you know. And what was mostly the thrill was. Um, you know kind of what you're going to get with the movie, but once we got into it, it was just another series of like pleasant surprises. You know, getting to see all the different things they were going to bring at us, the mm -hmm. different people that were working on it, the sets they were building, the money they were putting in to make this thing look as epic as it does. And, uh, we were really thrilled. Mr. Todd, I mean, this is your fifth one. Mr. Going Strong. In, oh, that is all right. <laughs> <laughs> the fifth one, I mean, everybody knows you're the person that they got to meet eventually, right? I mean, what's it like working with Steve, um, with, with the director, when, on the fifth one? It, well, uh, first of all, I was a kid when I got the call, uh, and I still am a kid every time I get cast, which is like once a week. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I've never worked with 3D process before, you know, not live, and that was kind of intimidating for me. People say I intimidate other things. I didn't know what that was about. And all the time, it just seemed like it takes forever. Mm. It's meticulous. Like Emma said earlier, if there's a hair in the face, it's coming at you, has to be moved. And usually, it, it, at first it felt like it was inorganic. You know, you know, I come from the theater, so it's all about moment to moment and organicness. Um, so once I was able to put that past, and I realized that Steve loved that side of it as much as I loved the craft of acting, then it was a way to meet in the middle ground. Okay. Death doesn't like to be cheated. Excuse me? What's that supposed to mean? 
You all, just be careful now. Okay. Thanks for the advice. Creepy guy. <laughs>